All right, everybody, here we are for day two of our weekly challenge. We are playing a non-best hand match point tournament with these robots. And we have two reasonable results. I think very average results on the board, so we're probably 50-50 at this point. And we are tasked with bidding this hand. Um, we're not vulnerable. That's the one thing I can say about this hand. Um, here are my thoughts. In a normal situation, I would just not consider preempting here. The suit is bad. I, if I had the Ace of Diamonds in the club suit, I would just bid this. The shape is terrible also. I'm 7 2, two, two. Um, I'm not vulnerable, though. And the, the opponents are vulnerable. Um, what I really don't want to do is have my partner think that this is my suit when I preempt frequently. That's why I, I hesitate to do this in a realistic setting, folks, because... I don't want partner to think I'm this sort of player. <laughs> However, the robot doesn't really care. And also, the one thing I found through experience with robots is preempting usually works even better against robots than it does against real people. So I like to if I have a sniff at a good preempt. And I would never do this vulnerable even against robots. But non-vulnerable, I'm okay getting in here and maybe I have a little disguised card in the Ace Jack of Diamonds. Um, if I were in second chair, I probably wouldn't do this because now my partner has a 50-50 shot of having a good hand. Here I'm in first chair, non-vulnerable. First and third, I would probably be preempting with this hand and here I am. And let's see how we did. I hope partner just doesn't table a monster. Yeah, here we go. Mm. Well, let's see. Partner would have opened a no trump probably, and I don't know what we would have done. Uh, it's, it's match points. So luckily, three no trump looks terrible with that spade suit and the fact that we have to develop clubs. But it's possible clubs just develop to a lot of tricks. <laughs> and we have two entries to our hand, unfortunately, in diamonds. So let's see. Here, we, we, don't, we don't have to play the queen, folks. We have to take a normal finesse. Oh, good. The, the finesse lost. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, did, oof, do we have to rough with the queen here? What happened in this last trick? Did the ten of clubs get played? Mm, gross. This could just be a trump promotion. We just have to guess this. This is such a brutal spot. Luckily, we're guessing it for, I guess, making, I suppose. But uh, notice if left-hand opponent ha is out of spades and has the ten of clubs, and only the ten of clubs, we have to rough high, and then we draw trump, and, and it just falls evenly. If left-hand opponent is out of spades and has 10 doubleton of clubs, I don't think there's anything we can do because if we rough high, they pitch, and then we draw trump and they have a trick. Um, and if lefty just has four spades um, on this hand, now we have a situation where if we rough high and trumps divide badly, we have now um, roughed high for no reason, essentially. Mm. Interesting. I'm going to play the nine. Okay, good. So either lefty is out of clubs or a righty has the 10 of clubs. Uh, and, okay, righty had the 10 of clubs. And and <laughs> and lefty is out. So both of those could have been the case, obviously. Here, hopefully transporting back to our hand. Make sure to count your trumps and make sure you know to draw the last one. And now you just have an embarrassment of riches here. You have uh, only five cards and about nine tricks. So we just claim that 130. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the robot will do. I guess we'll find out on Friday there. Uh, as this auction just repeats right in front of one, no three now. Uh, so let's take a, just a quick peek back at the results there. And and here we go. If we pass, I, I mean, West will definitely pass, and then it'll be up to North, right? North is certainly going to open a no trump, and we're going to have to decide what to do with our hand. Uh, I would probably pass one no trump with this and just hope I was taking a bunch of tricks. And in that case, they can take four spades, um, the four spades and a club probably, and that's about it. We're just so well stopped everywhere else. So making two is 120. So maybe this is a win for us. If, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if the robot's going to be able to resist transferring to a minor in this case though. So I guess we'll find out. And if they play three, no Trump, let's hope they go down one through normal defense. So I, I don't mind this result when I see that there. And ooh, one no pass, three no. Lovely. <laughs> okay. So on this one, we have nothing to say. Obviously, we're going to wait and see what partner leads. And we'll do a little bit of calculating once this hand starts. So when I'm defending, folks, and uh, we're going to be defending twice as much as we're declaring. So this is important uh, conceptually. We want to just make sure we're, we're aware of the field of play before we start playing cards. And, and here you can see that the, the information has been tremendous here. We, we know that East has 14 points because we're just looking at 14 points, right? We know we have five points and we also have a very tight range of West. Uh, we're going to give them 16, right? So that's 35 total points. 
and that means partner has an average of five points. Now, as I see this hand, I would think that partner either has the ace of diamonds or the 10 of diamonds if my partner is a human being. Unfortunately, my partner is the robot, so I'm not getting a massive read on this lead. But in this case, I do have, you know, just some expectation to see a card or maybe two from partner, but not much. All right. Uh, in this case, important concept also. And before I get to that, let me remind you, uh, on uh, this week, which is September 26th or 27th, this is the day you're watching this. We have another three classes, and one of them, in fact, is defense decisions. We did no Trump contracts last week, and these are self-directed courses. So you can pick them up whenever you like. And there was a really good discussion on no Trump defense last week. This week is suit contracts. That releases Tuesday, the 26th, which is today. So pick that up if you like. Uh, also, Wednesday, the, the 28th. Uh, is uh, the play and defense quiz and uh, sorry yeah, yeah. the 27th is when the last one releases guys i'm getting my dates all mixed up here uh the 28th is our play and defense quiz and this is amazing because not only will you get good play and defense reps uh, you will also get a repeatable quiz in the notes and it's wonderful to not only attend live but also on replay it's made for that and last but not least declare decisions suit contracts we did no trump contracts last week suit contracts this week super inexpensive ten dollars for tons of content and tons of practice with these absolutely essential topics and here we are i am going to tell you that we are going to give a signal to our partner and and here is the rule folks when partner leads a suit and in this case partner has led diamonds we are supposed to if they win a high honor and dummy we're supposed to kind of tell partner whether we like or we don't like this suit when the declarer plays a card that's the jack or lower and we're unable to beat it we give count to our partner and this is just because it's pretty clear when we don't cover the nine that we don't like this suit and obviously dummy has king queen jack fifth so we clearly don't like this so all we're trying to tell partner is how many we have uh, on this hand not much is going to be helpful declare just has a massive amount of tricks it's apparent but in just good bridge habits we want to know what to give so both of us are on the same page and the more we practice these, the more they just get into our heads. And here they're just giving us a nice, easy win with the queen of clubs. We'll take that. Uh, now the question is, what do we return? And the answer is, uh, it's really hard to know. You, you would think a spade. And here's another general defensive concept. When we are in a situation where the dummy is on our right, we usually, if we have just a doubt as to what to lead, we usually want to lead towards the weakest suits in that hand because presumably we're leading through the strength over here. Um, however, there is another holding that's kind of weak that has an interesting position because we have 10 9 fourth of hearts, right? So leading through this might create a trick also. It's just very difficult to know where partner's cards are because the auction wasn't really revealing at all. Uh, so those are the two choices you're looking at. I think in just general rules, I, I, a spade just makes more sense because you're li more likely to just catch partner with a trick right now rather than having to kind of create one in hearts. And it looks like those diamonds are good. They're starting to play clubs as well. So maybe we get it to double dip here. So let's play a spade. And see it goes ace low from partner that should be a spot where partner can signal they did not do that here i'm just going to pitch a club for now i right, notice i just need to protect the king of clubs and now they're leading another spade to the king <laughs> looks like we picked the wrong suit to lead uh, all right now they're probably going to start playing some okay just more spades great we, ch we certainly chose to lead that weak suit and the weak suit, at least as it turns out, they just had tricks they could take here anyway, but it looks like they're going to take one more spade, pitch a club, and they have a claim city here. All right, so that's board four, and that is day two in the books. Uh, I will just let them have their fun of taking these tricks, and the rest is history here. Doesn't look like we were going to do too much differently unless partner uh, partner can't even lead a heart. Look at how brutal this is. Well, they have to lead the king of hearts, which is terrible. Um, I would always have led the five of hearts, and that's why the robot kind of saves us on this end. Uh, in this case, I would just be leading fourth best from my heart suit in the hopes that I could develop tricks in that suit, and that would be terrible because it would go five, six, nine here, jack, and then declare would take five spades, five diamonds, and the ace of clubs. So they just, wow, they, they, have, they have 12 tricks just always, right? There's really nothing we can do about this. They gave us a club early that they didn't even have to do. They could have maybe tried to squeeze us out of this. If partner led a heart, they would have taken 13. It's pretty amazing, right? And really, it just shows you 
That's real bridge, folks. You're supposed to leave the five parts. It went one no three no too. The majors are our spot. Give partner the jack and an entry and more hearts, or just give partner a small with the hearts dividing three three, and you've just beaten this contract. So I don't think you can really resist that lead. But luckily the robot did. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's take a look at where we're gonna start tomorrow. And uh, ooh, a diamond passed you. What would you do in this situation, folks? Let's see what I do tomorrow with this robot and our Wednesday weekly challenge. So folks, don't forget, tons of classes on bridgelesson.com. Lots of self-directed stuff now, so it's stuff you don't have to be there live for. And even the live bridge quiz, which is new and improved, has a edited replay. So when you're watching it, no more dead air. You can run right through it and have that repeatable quiz that you all love so much. So check it out, bridgelesson.com. And I'll see you back here for day three of this tournament and I, I again i can see i i, I need to put our our, uh, our little box here that's missing so uh, don't worry tomorrow it'll be there <laughs> all right folks see you then